Hello, this is Mr. Collier, and today we're finding measures of central tendency and measures of spread using Microsoft Excel. Okay, so uh, we have a set of data here. It's the heights of students, and firstly, we're going to find the mean of the data. Always start off with an equal sign. Uh, and to find the mean in Microsoft Excel, you have to use the average formula. So just type in average, equals average, then a bracket, and you can actually go and select your data. Okay, and close my bracket, press enter, and there you go, you get the mean of the data. And now to get the median, very straightforward, just equals median bracket, same data, A2 to A13, press enter, there's your median. And mode, same thing, equals mode, and select that data, and enter. So I've got uh, mean, median, mode. Now the measures of spread, the range, and the interquartile range are not so straightforward. To do those, you might, you might actually be better off doing it by hand, but by doing it with Microsoft Excel, it's best to sort these numbers first. So I can sort these in ascending order. And now I can easily see the range here is 18 minus, or sorry, 180 minus 120. Okay, or you can even type in, if you want to, A18 subtract A2, and it'll work it out for you. So that's the range. Now the inter interquartile range, remember you have to get the median of the upper half of the data and the median of the lower half of the data and subtract them to get the inter interquartile range. So that's what we're about to do. Uh, first of all, the median is 156. We're going to go ahead and highlight the median. So there's two 156s here. Which one's the median? This one looks like it's in the middle. So I'm going to highlight that highlight the median and let's just, just let me check this now we have one two three four five six seven eight data values below the median one two three four five six seven eight and eight values that are higher than the median so that is the median this is the upper half of the data and this is the lower half of the data so to get the interquartile range is kind of tricky so watch very carefully we can do median of the upper half of the data, subtract the median of the lower half of the data. Okay, so that's the uh, median of the upper half minus the median of the lower half. And there you go, 34.5 is your interquartile range. 